Hello, I'm Al Beattie. My purpose today is to discuss with you LaFontaine's theory of attraction. We uh, outlined it pretty well in our in our book that we wrote about Gary's last patterns called LaFontaine's Legacy. And in that chapter, or in the chapter number 21 that started on page 100 on the Lady Heather Doublewing, we discuss his theory of attraction. Or if you wish, or you have it, you can check his book, Trout, uh, not, not Trout Flies, The Dry Fly. And it's reviewed there in, in one of the chapters there, his theory of attraction. Uh, by the way, I'm going to flash on screen the recipe for the fly that we're tying today. That fly, by the way, is the Lady Heather Double Wing. And I'll flash on the screen the recipe while I'm reading a part from the book on Gary's uh, formula for attractive pattern colors. Okay. In it, he says, The Magic of the Double Wing by Gary LaFontaine. And there is a formula for attractor dry, dry flies, and it applies not only to double wings, but also to wolves, trudes, humpies, stimulators, or any style of attractor that comes in a series of colors. The formula is deceptively simple, but it will increase the catch rate for attractors by 20 to 30 percent. Here's the formula. Match the main color of the tractor dry fly to the color of the prevalent light. End of quote. Sounds simple enough. Anyway, if you already have this book, um, and it's been on the market for quite some time, it's uh, LaFontaine's Legacy. I know it's still available in the used book market uh, on Amazon.com, or we have it out now as an e-book. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it's Chapter 21, Lady Heather Double Wing, and if you want to know all about the 12 colors of double wings that Gary ties, that he tied, and the kind of light conditions that you want to use them in, can be kind of a revelation for you. It sure has changed our, our dry fly fishing. But anyway, come on over to the vise, and let's take a look at the Lady Heather Double Wing. I think it's a good idea to start with an example of what we're what the goal is, the goal is to tie this Lady Heather double wing. And we have one in the vise right now, but let me just remove the one that's there, and we'll start out with a bare hook. Now, I'm using a size 8 so you all can see pretty well what we're doing. And I'm going to start out by applying um, my thread base, which is not really thread at all, but it's actually floss, and it's called Fuzzy nylon or uh, several other names but made by Danville uh, or there's uh, by Uni Products as well but I'll just go ahead and put down a a base I want you to notice that this particular style of fuzzy nylon if you will actually it does not have any sides to it so it never gets twisted you always get a nice smooth flat application now we're going to use this Allure Flash and Tron Body Wool. And uh, take a piece of that and tie it on for our tail. And notice how the um, fuzzy nylon makes a nice smooth body. I'm going to advance it forward just a short distance and stop because it's all from that point on is going to form the tag. But let's measure the tail for length and it's equal to the length of the gap of the hook. Pull it down, trim it, set that out of my way right now. Put it over there with that finished fly. I see I've got a wild one in here. Let's get rid of that too. <clears throat> okay, good. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of uh, this there we go now you notice that this has got kind of a curve to it it can be real frustrating to get it to stack worth a darn so what we're going to do is we're going to use our thumbnail to straighten it see how I'm pinching that now there's one here that doesn't want to get with the program but see how that straightened all that out now I'll go ahead and remove the under fur and put this in my stacker. Notice how I put this in my stacker base ends first. 
It's a lot easier to line up those trimmed base ends than it is to line up the tips. I just and we'll measure it for length. Tie it on. Snug, but there we go. Tight wraps. Advancing forward. And if I pinch each time I make a wrap, it kind of keeps that hair up on top. Rather than it'll otherwise, it'll just kind of spin around the hook. And my goal here is to have kind of a smooth underbody. Back that up just a little bit. I went too far. There we go. Let's trim off the waist. All right. Now I'm going to switch from floss to thread. With thread rather than the floss. It builds up too big of a head if I use floss all the way through. And then on sizes um, 14 and smaller, I just use 6 thread all the way through rather than starting out with floss. But that's kind of up to you how you do it. Now we're going to learn something kind of interesting, and and that's how Gary dubbed his bodies. He called it touch dubbing, and it's very different than what most of us think of touch dubbing. First, let me go ahead and put the the marking with the felt tip marker here in the middle here. There we go. That kind of adds some barring to that tail, or that, that, that first wing. Now we'll get our <clears throat> uh, dubbing wax. And we don't need a lot because, as you'll notice, there's a, a lot of materials go on this hook. There just isn't a lot of room for all the uh, different materials if you try to get too crazy at the amount that you're putting on. Now we're using our Double Magic, which is the same touch dubbing that Gary used to sell under the brand name Magic Fingers Touch Dubbing. We... We got very lucky recently and ran across an old supply of the product because it's been off the market for quite a while. But anyway, we found some and we're able to offer it again now on our website, www.btsflyfishing.com. I want you to notice how I dubbed that. I did not twist it in any way, shape, or form. I just touched it to the sticky thread and that was it. And I've kind of screwed up here. So let me back up because I forgot to put the hackle on. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll just get our grizzly hackle and tie it on while I retie the body. Whoops. Get in there, you. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and, and wrap our, our body hackle. Palmer style. And I'm going to trim that off and get it out of my way. Though I'll, I will tie it back on here in just a moment. Now let's just trim off the top and the bottom following Gary's instructions. Now the next thing we're going to add is our calf wing. Now I had the camera off for just a moment because getting a nice, nicely stacked calf hair is not always real easy. And we're going to go ahead and Tie this wing in place. Use a couple of snug but not real tight wraps there right in front of the uh, hackle application. And now we're going to trim off the waist. I'm going to pull that up and then make a really severe, severely angled cut. Just like that. Whoops. Got one wild one. Get rid of that. One of the things about having a camera between me and the vise is it uh, kind of limits the space with some of the things that we're doing. Notice that I'm building a nice tapered hackle platform. We want to make sure we get a good smooth hackle platform, this taper from here to here, so that we don't have our hackle slipping when we're wrapping it. And now we're going to tie on two feathers. And first one that I'm going to wrap is the grizzly. Leaving spaces for the blue dun that follows along next. Notice that I do not wrap all the way up to the eye. I want to leave space to tie off that second hackle. 
See there's some space left there. We want to make sure that we leave that space. Otherwise we just may end up with too big of a bulky head. <clears throat> Wrapping the second hackle, which is the blue done. Now it's easy enough to wrap two hackles at once, but it's um, when you're tying off two hackles in one spot, it does have a tendency to make a big head. That isn't something that we want. Uh, we'll get our half hitch tool into play here and slip on a half hitch, a second half hitch. Now we'll put on a whip finish using the same tool and a second one. And uh, trim off that, set that aside. And now we have a LaFontaine double wing. Now what you want to do is Take that little guy fishing, and you want to get all 12. And if you check um, check our book, you can find uh, information on the 12 colors and when to use them. It's really kind of interesting, just what kind of light conditions that you're looking for. But anyway, that's the Lady Heather Double Wing.